hooly out there. Should we get a bright, bright coloured radiator? No. Morning. Morning. Oh. A bright coloured radiator. How are you? Thank you. Did you sleep well? I slept really well. Do you want to hear my snoring? Oh, yeah, come over here. This is me. So how, does, how does it record? I don't know. Are you not sort of sleeping restlessly, sleep fitfully because you're... Oh. No, that's just my breathing. It's just your... How do you know what time that is? 1.41, says it there. That's the one that really gets me. Because when you, okay, play that one again. This is what happens to me. <laughs> and you know where you normally are when you do that one? That's really sweet. You're right there. <laughs> Thing is, is sometimes it's not systematic. It's really trebly, isn't it? It got a really trebly snore. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, we're bonding over your snoring. What's that big one down the end there? Can't get to that. You have to pay for that. <gasps> so the best is beyond the. This is the sleep bloody industry I was talking about yesterday. Yeah. Seventy-four billion. So you've got to pay money. Money to hear how you. Oh, think. no, that's me having a shower. That one, oh, that really big one. Shit. Me having a shit. Mark. So, how does it only record you and not me? Look, well, well, it could be you. It's not, it's you. You know it too well. Yeah, I know it too God, well. It's bad, isn't it? I'm definitely going to sleep clinic, definitely. I want to, can we definitely, definitely get a shot of you with all those probes on your head? Yeah. I want to see your head probed. Um, I was reading our. Um, Comments yesterday. Careful Lots of people think that I'm being too controlling with you with your food. No, I don't agree. I've and read. I of, tell you off too much. I've read lots of comments, and people are right. I need to try yoga, and I want to tell you now. I'm going to. Not really? today. Not today. Because no, I can't today. get into that class at that place. But I we will. can. The next time. There is space. No, but I fancy going to the other place because I like the sound of him. Well, I'm going there tonight at six. Tonight. Yeah. Are you doing two yoga sessions yeah. on a Sunday? Babe, you're, you're cross addicting. No, it's because I've got this thirty pound pass for thirty days. So I'm trying to use it. All right, I'll come tonight. You know what it is? You're going to love it. It's Nidra. Oh, all right, okay. I don't know what Nidra is. I'm going to tell you. Nidra listen. sounds like a serpent god from a fantasy novel. That sounds like my cup of tea. All right, it? Nidra. I'm going to do yoga, guys. I'm going to wear yoga pants. Listen. I'm going to The a pose. space between waking and dreaming. Oh, this so is nice. the enchanting place that is yoga nidra. By turning our attention inward as we're taken to a place of healing and peace, where deep transformation is possible, a beautiful, effortless, deeply relaxing practice. Look, can you see them? They're all just lying down. Yeah. That's what you'd be doing. Oh, fantastic. Babe, just, I've, okay. got dusty, I'm so I've got dusty I've got a book it. I've got a book it. I've got dusty eyes. I've got a book it. Yes. I've got to go. Okay. All oh, right, to put your snore record on to record the plop. Record the plop. Let, let's listen outside the door. <laughs> just, just filmed you. Oh, but you better not. Just heard you from outside Mark, the door. Don't, cause make, we need a safe word. My safe word is pineapple, which means you're not allowed to put it in the vlog. Pineapple. Well, now we know. Why do you need a safe word? Because you put stuff in when I've said you don't put stuff in. Don't want you putting in that I've gone to the loo. Pineapple. Sobs, I just want to say thank you for getting him to do yoga. It wasn't me, it was you. Yeah, I'm already anxious about it. You can lie next to me. No, I don't want to, you might snore. I'll look after you. Imagine I'm going to feel so relaxed. Am I? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really, really pleased. I'm really proud of it. It's made me love you more. Oh, that's a result. <laughs> Can have another one of those amazing cups of tea. Yeah. Well, you book yourself into yoga then. I'm do about it, to do book it, myself. Do it, do it, do it, do it, and I'll make tea. So, so it's the six o'clock one tonight. Press that.
So I've just bought the pass, but I can't do six till seven. That's an hour and a half. I haven't got time. Literally haven't got time. Right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Six this to is 7.30. classic. Travel down, 5.30 to 6, 7.30. Travel back. So really we're looking at 5.30. It's not going to be half an hour. No, it is in terms of getting out the door and getting down there, whether we walk or no. we drive and park. So, okay, let's say 5.45 to effectively 7.45. Two hours. hours to just look after yourself. What if you were going up to a meeting or you were going to the gym? So the thing is that if I said to you now, there's a film on, at yeah, Crystal Palace. Hang on a minute, let me finish. Work. If I said to you now there's a film on at six o'clock in Crystal Palace, how long would we be out of the house? Yeah, about two and a half hours, but that's worse. So you're saying that's worse. So even on a Sunday night? You have to have an indulgent amount of time to be able to just book things willy-nilly and just not eat not have any impact. I don't agree that it's indulgent to look after yourself. No, it's not indulgent. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is you just suggested... I think 6.30 in the evenings for an hour and a half would be really problematic for my work schedule. It's once a week. But you we've just booked a 30 day pass for a, for a month. Yeah, but you, no, but the one in the evening is only, is only, is only tonight. Not, they've, they've got lessons all over the day. Morning, afternoon, evening. This is a Sunday, not a really good way yeah, to okay. go into your week. To just unwind. Yeah, I can see that. But I, I, I suppose, I suppose if you're getting trapped in the thought of we've done a 30 day thing, you're just saying it's a cheaper way of doing three sessions a month. Yeah. All oh, right. See, what you've done is you've gone into a panic because you've bought a 30 day pass. But the 30 day pass, if you I'm want. Only you're for 10 days, isn't it? If you go every day, it's £1.50 a lesson, right? What, it, it's 15 quid a lesson, a, a, a class of yoga. So all you've got to do is four and you've paid for the. Paid for it, and one more, and then you've saved money. Three. No, it's thirty-nine pounds. Yeah, so three fifteens is what. Forty-five. So three. And you've paid for it. So three, and you've paid for it. Yeah. Right, and anything over that is a bonus. And I go to New York in ten days, so I'm going to have to do at least three in the next nine days. But hang on, you're making yourself so stressed. <laughs> it's you're about honest. the minutes. No, no, because it's about I was time. because I was able to convince you about the minutes. You've now gone to the pennies. No, 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 no. But it, it, I feel stressed. I know. About John. doing yoga. I know. Listen, I feel the same. I feel it's really very stressed hard about doing yoga now. I feel stressed about fitting it in. I feel stressed about what won't be happening. I'm worried I'm going to lie there paying, admittedly, fifteen pounds, which will be down to seven pound fifty if we do it six times. <laughs> thinking we're not shooting stuff. I'm not getting stuff. What's happening outside in the world? Or do I need to be a crook? How does one stop thinking? I mean, I'm just worried I'm going to be lying in really stupid looking yoga kit on a mat with lots of people farting around me thinking, shit, I should be out there doing something. I think it's all about time management, isn't it? And we talk about this a lot. We are shit at managing our time. And anyone would say to you, right, we'll just work out that you've got two hours where you're not just having to be... Because what you're doing with this conversation is totally proving that you want to be like this all the time on your tiptoes, ready to go. And subs, I'm sure there's plenty of you that are the same. I'm the same. No, we were just talking about whatever a name is, something being oh, has lost a baby. Not go there. That's too, no, no, too. no. Well, exactly. That's what Kiki said. <laughs> it generates such. Well, not not, not go there, attitudes. but Kiki had got very strong views, and so had I. And oh. they were opposing. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and then Maddie and I were talking about gangs a bit, and then Kiki and I were talking about Andrew Marr and his stroke. And um, <laughs> you've had a full on morning we've of had discussion. A full on morning of, of what were you saying about gangs? Well, nothing. I, just before you came in, I was just saying to Maddie, did she know anybody who's, who had been stabbed? And it turns out she knows masses of people. You know, this is the thing that upsets me whenever any of these awful things happen. I'm going to cry. She knows somebody that knows cry. somebody that knows somebody. I'm going to cry. She's hugging me. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Right, we were walking through oh, Croydon um, shopping centre and Kiki said to me, oh, that's Caius's friend. I turned around to see who it was and it was all the flowers around the lamppost because it was where the boy had been stabbed to oh, death. Oh my God, that's what scares that's me. The is these kids are growing up, not, not with it being normal, but they know somebody who it's happened to. This so, is I mean, why I'm always saying I hate that my girls all know somebody that knows somebody that knows exactly. somebody. Exactly. I love you, sweetheart. Love you. They're too young. <laughs> Just in the middle of so much love, I'm going to cry. Nice buttery fried eggs as a treat. Fried eggs. Bag of the day.
Now, Sorry. fried eggs cooked in butter, Ooh. so they're just, that's a broken one for me because I like my egg broken. And then you just, so you put the butter in, you cook them really slowly, and then just put the lid on and let them just finish yeah, off. Yeah, and what, look what Kiki's got. They want butter in it. Yeah. From the bakers. Oh, it's that time of the year. You're going to Oh! Bless you. Bless you. Do you know why the cross is on a hot cross bun? Because it's something to do with Jesus. No, do you want to know why the cross yeah, is on a hot cross bun? Sorry. The cross is on a hot cross bun because fruit, fruited and sh in any way sugary confectionery or buns or cakes were considered the work of the devil. So the cross was placed on it as a pagan oh. paganistic, paganistic oh. form of purification. So it was the How um, interesting. Was the Puritans. The Puritans encouraged them to have crosses put Isn't that interesting? And if, if you think about where we are now, we are Puritans. trying to make people understand that sugar is the devil. Yeah. <laughs> But no, but I mean, back in the back in the day, sugar and sweetness and raisins and, and all such things put into buns weren't just considered sort of terrible. I mean, it was the stuff of harlotry and yeah, boring, boring, boring. It was no, serious. yeah, yeah. It was, it was a, you know, oh, isn't that interesting? So the, the cross was placed on to purify, the and somewhere into were extraordinary in their range yeah. and absolute. You know, yeah. across the board, they just got rid of everything. Yeah. It makes me wonder what exactly did the Puritans in the end have left to believe in? Yeah. Well, I'd like to know what the Puritans did to get their kicks. <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly. Oh! Well, if, they thought, if they thought that a bun with raisins in it was the work look, of the devil, what the hell? Look, Subs, look. Oh. You don't understand what a huge thing this is. Because, because what? I love eggs and I never, ever, ever, ever have them. Why not? I don't know. We have mom. this discussion every weekend. She calls yeah, it. I, I love eggs, but I never. Isn't it funny? My mum loves eggs you. too. Yeah, I love eggs. I bet, you, I bet the difference there is your mum has them. Yeah. yeah. Pepper yeah. dye, pepper. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Betty's had eggs every single day of her life, and she's 82, 83. And you're saying it's because of the eggs. Thank you very much. Oh, eggs. Hey, so, how do you like your eggs? Do you fry your butter? Do you fry your fried egg in butter or in oil? Do you scramble them? Do you boil them? Do you poach them? I like mine like that. See, that's just ruining all the fun. It's ruining all the fun. You've literally taken the fun out of that egg. How do egg die? It's absolutely amazing. Tell other subs what you actually just said. I don't like to. Go on. This is my crack cookie. <laughs> And you know, why they're, <coughs> you know why they're extra nice? Why? Because they're organic eggs. I was going to say, food. they taste amazing. Nice, Mark. How's the sourdough taste? Yeah, it's delicious. It tastes nice. it tastes as nice as bread, doesn't it? Well, it is still bread, but yeah. it's just, it's the fermenting. It's not, there's no yeast yeah. in it. No, the eggs are really nice. It's and how's that, Thank Kiki? You. Good. Oh, God, are you dipping your... Oh, she's dipping hot crust bun into milk. Whoa. Right, we're off to the park. Look at Nanny, D Nanny Die. Look, in, look into the... You look really weird. What? What? Tell me. Mm. Tell me. Don't just laugh. And it's so annoying when she does that, isn't Tell it? me. Tell me. What is she it? She just looked ethereal, ghost-like. It was like you were there, but you weren't there. Look into the camera. <laughs> you look very beautiful, though. You do. No, you really do. You've got like grey, silvery hair. You look sort of all grey, Mia Farrow-ish. Grey, silvery everything. <laughs> grey, silvery mouth. Grey, silvery teeth. <laughs> grey, silvery chin. Where's Kiki? Kiki. 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 <laughs> oh, um, so we are off to the park to walk our insane okay, dogs. Let's ask ourselves. Our fence has been blown down on the left, and I believe that the. Uh, property to the left of us put it up is it their responsibility can someone definitively tell us whose fence is whose responsibility legally as you look from the house at your back garden and as you look from the house from your front door my mum says it's you can tell whether the, if the posts are on your well, no, whatever the side posts the posts are post... on our side on both sides of the garden so that can't be true. yeah right. no so just wondered if that was something that other people think as well so this is basically the storm you told us we were going to have last week die yes right, yeah i think this is the next one beginning with g storm gary storm yeah gareth storm gary gertrude storm. that's quite a good name for a storm yeah, gertrude. gertrude i think they've called it hurricane gertrude Really? Before. Jeez, but jeez, it's windy. <laughs> ah. so we'll... See the girls behind us with Nanny Di chattering away, arguing away. 
<laughs> I'm really worried about my mum today though. We're supposed to be having them all over for lunch. She's not well I again. Know. She's feeling sick. Mm. Like that day, in fact, you had it on uh, the vlog when she came up to lose swimming. She's yeah. sick. She feels sick again today. So I'm hoping, she's very stoic, my mum. Hoping she will uh, get herself up and get, us, get yeah. over to us. Come on, bitch. Dina said she made a cake this morning. Oh, right. She That's my mum. Yeah. <laughs> right, really okay. sick, but still made a cake. I love this little alleyway down here. Could you put this in your film? Yeah, well, nice I, I've already scoped it out for a possible oh. scene. Maddie, I'm thinking of this as possibly the final We've scene here. Over this, over this tree. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think? And then yeah. potentially he rolls down the hill. Who did? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oscar. Oscar. Just thinking to use this. On oh, are you, are you wrecking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, no, not wrecking. This is one of the trees I was looking at. If it's not too rainy. But I quite like the fact that there's a slope going down. Yeah. Because that could almost take Kush out. <laughs> chicken crisp, if you can hear me. <laughs> As usual, we've forgotten the bloody poo bag, so Mark's using the crisp bag. That's off my hands, so... Oh. Oh. oh, no, I can't bear it, it's making me oh. sick. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Oh. That's yuck, don't give it to me. It's going to probably put me off the smell of it. Probably gonna put me off the smell of chicken crisp. That's good. Yeah, that's that's good. A bit of version therapy. So Nanny Di's just gone up the road to get us an extra chicken because we've got lots of chicken to eat because we're on a mission to eat as much chicken as possible. And I want to say the word chicken as many times. Look at this fecundity. Fecundity, that's such a great word, isn't it? It's a bit, we love fecund. Uh, things are fecund in this kitchen today. But Nanny Di's just said that the biggest hailstones are landing on her just up the road, which is odd. Because whilst our fence has been blown down by a gale, we haven't yet been destroyed by hailstones. What we you, have not. What are you making? Roast chicken, roast potatoes, cabbage, carrots, green beans, broccoli, parsnips, stuffing, Yorkshire pudding, gravy. You look like you should work on a farm or something. Uh, did, well, I wasn't think, quite thinking that sound. But with the parsnips and everything. Uh, no, the illusion has been utterly shattered. But you know what it's like. Come on, Betty, you can do it. Come on, Betty. You know you can. Come on, Betty. Wherever there's food, wherever there's food, there's always toffee. Well, they haven't had their breakfast. Do you know, guys, that you're only supposed to feed your dog once a day? Why are you always banging We all do it. Then? We all feed our dogs twice a day because we've just, we've humanised them. But actually, healthy dogs, you're supposed to fast them one day a week minimum, but they get nothing. Probably. I mean, where is it written that we should eat three times a day? That's a Nowhere. social construct for work. Yeah, and because it's nice. Yeah. Because <laughs> we like it. My mum's just bought me my newspaper, which is so nice. Have you heard of plogging? Oh, so. Plogging. Plogging. Pull yeah. Plogging. No, what's it mean? It's Pull running, it. jogging, and picking up rubbish. Yes, I have. I have. Apparently, it's about keeping the environment clean and you yes, exercise. Of course, it makes perfect sense. Around the legs and stuff too. I fancy plogging. Someone's just sent me a tweet saying, go plogging. Hey. I'm plogging. Plogging. I'm plogging. He's plogging. No, I'm plogging. Nad Nadia's on an Insta Live. Ask your f ask the followers on Instagram if they've heard of plogging. What's plogging? No, with a P. Plogging. 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 plogging guys. It's That's jogging with a twist. No. Has anyone heard of plogging? Plogging. This is my lucky cap. This cap is from a place called Bend in Oregon when I was filming there. Plogging. That's Nadia in the background on an Insta Live. Plogging. <laughs> so I'm just taking five minutes like I did yesterday. Oh, you've plogged. You've plogged. You've actually, you're a plogger. Oh, Nadia's plogged. Well, anyway, so I'm just taking five minutes just because I've got a bit of a head on. I'm trying to take all of the advice Nadia's given me without her needing to give me the advice again today. Thanks, guys. I read a lot of your comments last night. I didn't have time to reply to them all, but I could hear you all imploring me and saying to me, come on, Mark, listen to some of her advice. She cares, she loves you, etc." So I am doing. Exciting things come in boxes. Yes. Come and open. Green figured hell is nearly here. <gasps> Onions! 
onions. Are they all onions? Just open it. Garlics Garlic. to plant. Oh, I can't get excited about it. Oh. <laughs> well, because I just can't. I'm not a vegetable These are person. Shallots. We bought some shallots. No, but they've already grown in the house. <laughs> well, that's because you have, to, you have to plant them straight away. I know. Isn't it? Why do you get so much and yesterday, of everything? Yesterday, well, because yesterday I put all the soil in the beds over there, so they can be planted today, but I didn't expect our fence to be blown down in the garden. Oh, no, reason. what a shame. Yeah. Look at the size of that one. No, because they just look like You're the shallots. You're being attacked by onions, Mum. Yeah, okay. Well, I'd be more excited if they were bulbs. Yeah, but Mum, there's all sorts of things out there that I keep discovering that you haven't planted. No, you don't keep discovering them. There's a certain amount that I never They're did plant. They're on the floor. There's all sorts of potent tillers and all sorts of things just knocking about in the back. Your management... There is no potent... There are no potent tillers. What should our first green fingered hell be? I tell you what, I think we need to do next weekend. Okay. First green fingered hell has to be us sorting that shed out. Okay, and then we run clearing it out. Yeah, we're going to go to New York, but we need to clear that shed out and we need to decide on things. Good idea, subs. Yeah. And they don't call themselves anymore, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good idea. We've certainly got to do something because, I mean, we've got to start the green fingered hell. But I think the green fingered hell starts with you and a chainsaw. I think it does. It does. We'll get the chains around next weekend. And I was sort of quite a bit excited the fact that you were burning some stuff and I thought maybe you could stick I'm burning it. stuff up to put in the skip. I'm burning all the stuff that I can burn and then I'm going to put all the other stuff in a skip. Well, good thinking. But I can't believe you were thoroughly unexcited by my box no, of onions. I've never pretended to be interested in vegetables, have I? Ever. I know, but that's all I'm interested in. So where are we going to connect Isn't on it? this gardening lark? Well, I do the bulbs and, and flowers and you do the vegetables. Vegetables. You dimwit. Vegetables. On, I'm doing your coffee. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, but I really... That's shallot. <laughs> That's a nice looking cup of coffee and a yellow cup of coffee cup. That's a nice yellow cup of coffee and a cup of cup of coffee and a cup of cup of cup. What am I looking for, Kiki? Your sense of humour and your charisma. Ooh. What's that wall? as far as doing passes. Careful of the wall, babe. Sorry? Pardon? Like what? 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 what did you just say? I missed it. Nothing. No, like you said you oh, okay. I said to you lay down, you had a rest, to rest enough to then come and annoy me. Can I just say something? Yes. No. Oh, no, we no. can't start saying no when he says no, that. No, please, can I just say something? <laughs> no. I, always, no. I always imagined I would be married, or hoped, or wished I'd be married to a woman who had a paintbrush in her hair. Well, there you go. Look, it's happened. Oh, it's this ah! happened. Oh my god, I thought that was falling. Where are you going to feed the dogs then? Or do they have to. No, we're trying to dehumanise them. No, no, they need a clue. Which one are you using first? That one. Block. Ow! <laughs> what are you doing? Right, um, block. Oh god, you're hot! <laughs> Is this, mom, is, this, like is this so you can survive in the ghetto? Yeah, but it's so she can survive in, in... Who's teaching you what? Don't do that! You block! Block! <laughs> well, you, you've got to try and punch and no, I block. No, I'm saying you punch now. Oh, I'll punch, okay. Oh! Oh, good girl. <laughs> you missed my arm. No, no, I'm supposed what to... What is this? Blocking. Who's blocking? Who's teaching who? No, what? but if I was a random person, I ran up to Yeah, just run at her and punch her in the face. face. You go. wouldn't automatically go. do that. Go, go. Run up to me and punch me in the face. No, I go... Uh, yeah, I mean, just don't do it. <laughs> 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 Wait, do the one where you grab the wrist and the, grab her wrist. Yeah. And then, how long you your arm is? Like... Well, see how far you can stand. Oh, yeah, her. you do that. See how far you can stand with her and grab her wrist. Grab her. Just keep standing back. Look how much further. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad shoulder. Try that one. Try that one. I don't know. I can't do it on this one. Oh, everybody has one weak shoulder. Yeah. No, I can't do it. Is that true? Is that, is that a truism? <laughs> She's dancing now. There! It's the foxtrot. They went from self defence to foxtrot. <laughs> What's in there? That's a clematis. Look. Oh, brilliant. It's coming. I, it's I, coming. That I'm was me leaving it just to. What no, are no, you the, leaving no, it? No, no, because you, we nearly got rid of it. Oh, and is that budding? This is budding. Look, oh, yeah. can you see here? Oh, These are, are new buds. They, look like dead buds. they do, but look, can you oh, see there? Oh, how exciting. It's very exciting, yeah, but look, but look what happened here. Yeah, they've been eaten, but at least they'll come through. 
Will they though? But well, look at this, you haven't even noticed. No, I saw it on your thingy. I was wondering where it was. Do you was. like it? I love it. Now, I was thinking, would Far this be... Far more than Nadia loves it. I might I have to Nadia take it home. I know, Nadia sort of had no response to it. No, I love it, but I didn't know where it was. What are you going to do with it? I think you're putting it in the front to grow a thing up the front of the house. Do you know what you could do? You could put a flowering cherry in there. What's that, a tree? Well, a Something small tree. Something that goes tree. up the side of the house. Oh, I see. To, to grow across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could we put a rose? Farming in rose, yeah, of course you oh, could. Rose. But I thought yeah. that would be really nice out the front. Fill it with soil out the front. I think it's lovely. You could stay in it, but that would be too much trouble, wouldn't it? But is that enough soil for a rose to grow over the yeah. years? Yeah. Would it push through the bottom and into the ground eventually? Yeah, in your front, yeah, because yeah, it's got, yeah, yeah, if it gets through. I don't think it might even need to. I, I don't know how. I think they're getting another one, yeah. Oh, I think that's lovely. I, I like, I hate to say this, but I like that much more than your things out there. Because well, they're not done yet. No, I can't picture what they're yeah, going to look but like. But these are these That's are to lovely. drive the nails through the things at the front. But yeah, I love so what that. I'm thinking what is I'm... what I'm thinking is two of those at the front of the house. Yes. Yeah. Hold the front page. Yes. Have you only gone and cooked a roast and kept it tidy behind? Cleaned up as I went along. Whoa. It's a revelation. It is. No. That is gobsmacking. No. That is gobsmacking. And it's all nearly ready. That is absolutely gods. That is so not what you do. No. This is so far removed from who I am. But You've you know put lids on things. There's not even a set of drawers left open. No. This is the new me. This is phenomenal. Oh, I forgot to make you what you put in. Oh, we can live, can't we? Oh, well. So I've just retrieved this sock, or rather Kiki's just retrieved this sock from Toffee's mouth, and we've just hit upon an interesting little detail about Toffee, the kleptomaniac mum. Yes. She needs to have a little bit of every one of us in her cage. Yes. And I was just thinking, well, she hasn't got any of me. Yeah. But then, as Kiki pointed out, and very several people said, she's had one of my bandages. One of I your knee bandages? bandages. No, or no, foot bandages. Foot bandages. And, um, so she has got a little bit of you, but you has. know what's a little bit chilling about this? What? And she does remind me sometimes. Do you remember that film about the serial killer Manhunter? Yes. Where he had to have, he got pieces of people and sewed a dress out of their skin. Yeah. Toffee wants she bits of us because she's planning she on killing <laughs> us. She had a knife in her bed. She had a knife in her bed. A knife in her bed. Oh, oh God. I just wish you put a sock in it. Huh? Oh, sorry, I burped. <laughs> <laughs> she just burped in my sock. Yeah, but that's not as badly as... Bad badly? As badly, goodly. It's because you've got so much carbonated liquid in oh, your no. body, you are just one big no, bubble. It's all coming out the top of my head. How excited are you about New York? Oh, I'm excited. I'll do that. Just that. Uh, up with the thing and down with the thing. And up with the no, something thinking, and down no. with the thing. No, up with the thinking, thinking down, down with the feet. Down with the dancing. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. And then go, and then go down, down, down there, there for dancing. Dancing. No, no, I know what I'll do. Down there for New York. No, no, up there for New York. Otherwise, down sounds like downbeat. Up. Down there. Up there for New York. <laughs> down there for... <laughs> Stuffing. Chicken. Cushion. Guy, cushion, Teddy. But look, where is she? <laughs> Who? Uh, Betty. Betty? Oh, Betty. Betty. Go. Yeah. Betty! She's, she's, down she's, she's down there. Yeah. She's down there. She's very small. Yeah. She's got even smaller. <laughs> Teddy, tell our subs a story about location lunches. Do you remember when you were in Spain in the Sean Connery movie? Wings of the Lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad was in this movie with Sean Connery. Yeah, yeah. And we were on holiday. We stayed the whole time on holiday in Spain. Was it Spain? Yeah. yeah. Or Malta? Spain. Spain. Malta was Spain, yeah. Spain was... You didn't come. I didn't go. Malta was uh, Zimbabwe. Why weren't you there on the Spain? Because I was a half... <laughs> I was a big guy. I wanted to go to school. I wanted to take any time out. She wasn't mad for Sean Connery like you. But do you remember those Spain. lunches? <laughs> the what? The lunches, because oh, it was oh, yeah, outdoors yeah. in Spain, they had these great long yeah. tables one and all the, the film crews. Yeah, one of the funniest so events in, one, in those lunches, you know, we were filming in an area full of tourists. I can't remember where, but, uh, you know, the tents were uh, set up for lunch. For uh, the winter, yeah, and we went, we went to film. 
Uh, and then at lunchtime we came back to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And as we looked, it was full of people. Mm -hmm. Where have they come from? Oh. They were tourists. Oh, they, they, the restaurant. Yeah, they thought oh. that. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, they all sitting there waiting for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's for the film crew. Yeah, and, oh, uh, and then the cook and everybody, even the cook, they thought they were part of the crew. <laughs> and then when they saw the crew standing there looking at their lunch, <laughs> they had to, to, to usher to the tourists out. <laughs> oh. They're so incredible, the location yeah. on movie set. Out of a van, they will have these big vans, weren't they, trucks? Yeah. And everything comes out of there, doesn't it? I mean, wow. it's just extraordinary well, what they well, cook. What I loved about the Spaniard, that in the morning, uh, they uh, put uh, rubbish, you know, the empty rubbish, uh, what do you call it? rubbish bins. Yeah. yeah. The empty ones, mm. and they fill them with wine and ice. Oh, just oh, hundreds right. of bottles, oh, like a giant. And if you watch the crew as they're coming, you know they whip a bottle <laughs> <laughs> on the way. <laughs> Everybody. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. And Grab then it. They sort of sip it gently yeah. until yeah, 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 yeah. it's done. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did Sean Connery always wear a wig? Even in those days. Did he have a wig? Well, he did towards the end of his stint as James Bond, didn't he? Oh, the James Bond, because they were pretty fine, him, you know. Yeah. But by the time I come to work with him, he was he had matured <laughs> and decided oh, okay. to... <gasps> Get a shot of that for the substance. Oh, Maddie. Yeah. Maddie. Yeah. Maddie. I always think you look like you've got tattoo sleeves. Yes, she does. They're very peculiar. Mm. They're nice, nice. Daddy. Oh, Sometimes they look so divine, those potatoes. I want to put my face in the oil and burn myself. <laughs> How's the food, guys? It's absolutely it. delicious. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. I have eaten mm. stuff other than potatoes, by the way. <laughs> 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 Great variety of lovely. I've done Betty a plate in case she feels better. Oh, it's good. It's yeah. good. I love doing that because then all the subs go, oh my god, now I'm starving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dina is yeah. in a, yeah. a post roast dinner situation. Post roast? Why post are you like roast. that? The potatoes are stacked up. <laughs> God, I've done the same. You know, when you when you when you've had enough, ten minutes before you stop eating. Don't we look like we're in. Lean forward, Kiki. Are we stuffed? Yeah, we're stuffed in a very good way. Yeah. Thank you very much. Total stuffing. <coughs> I'm so stuffed. I can't. I'm ledged like this because all the food has fallen to the. Oh no! Don't say that. That's so if you were feeling envious about the meal earlier, <laughs> now you don't need to because now we all wish we hadn't eaten it. Oh, oh babe. I question the shoe choice. I've got to wear the shoes, am I? No, I know, but you've got to go in the yoga place with those shoes on. Well, that's the least of my problem. Have you got the yoga socks to cover up those horrible toenails? Horrible toenails? <laughs> no, I'm back. See, she's the kind of woman I lived in fear of meeting. Well, you have got horrible toenails. But it's, it's just a part of you. That wasn't what... Uh, but you have. That's not what you said. Do you <laughs> not... That's not what you said. Do you love your toenail? I hate my toenail. Yeah, but it's part of you because you're lovely. It's fine. That's why I hate it. But you it's have part got, of me. You have got a deformed toenail. But yeah, it's always been like that. <laughs> I don't know why that makes it any better, but you're mocking me. I'm mocking me. I feel like I feel you like you look like my dad. Isn't that how Teddy would go out, Tina? Yeah. You're turning into <gasps> whose shoes are they? <laughs> They're my shoes. We need shoes. to get you some flip flops. They look fine. It's just that. Every time you look at me, you just burst out into love. What is wrong with you? I'm just imagining you. And now I've got it's like, it's like, having, it's like having you in stereo with Dina sneakering behind you. I just think I feel really sorry for you. <laughs> she feels really. Dina doesn't often feel sorry for people. This is serious. He's going to do something he really doesn't want. <laughs> Why are Maddie, you doing it? Help. Why are you doing it? We used to do she it on Tuesdays. Me. I said no. no. You don't want to do it. <laughs> Because she promises I'll find peace and tranquility. Yeah, but Mum's promised that was very no, The worst thing is you're going to lie there the whole freaking time waiting for it. Isn't it worrying? <laughs> because I want to bring his blood pressure down so he doesn't die. Has he got any blood pressure? pressure. You checked it and they said it was perfect. Is my blood pressure when I had my. Yeah, they took my blood pressure. Yeah, it was perfect. Levels are off the Hang on, you look, you're yeah. shifting the goalposts. Now my blood pressure was fine. With cholesterol. 
cholesterol cortisol. Cortisol. Yes. When did they mention cholesterol cortisol? cortisol? Oh no, you don't have to. You no. just can see from his. Comments. <laughs> you just love diagnosing people. I know. You tell us all we have a leaky gut without knowing we have a leaky gut. She's <laughs> want, she wants <laughs> everyone to have Alzheimer's. Yeah, in some exactly. Way. Apart That's from her. She wants, she's the one. Yeah. You all want to feel the same as she does. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's not. Hey, it's because I worry. In your it's because I don't want. I want to. I want. Are they I don't want to be like that. Yeah. You well, got you're holes in your... Yeah. What you got yoga socks. <laughs> you say that again. <laughs> what? What are they? I'm that horrific. Where's your little toe? toe. <laughs> you got that? What's this? I've got very short little. <laughs> They look ridiculous. I've got about 20 pairs. But you know. Kiki just ran out to give me this. <laughs> he left without Turquoise, you. Turquoise, <laughs> very male, very masculine. I don't know how, what if I get the giggles in there? You, what do you mean? You always used to get the giggles whenever I did yoga. <laughs> That's all you do is laugh. Right at now, me. listen, we've got to try I'm really hard. My feet are smelly. I had to go to the loo for at least half an hour to get rid of the parsnips. We've got to try really hard to enter deep into our spirit. How did I do that when I look so ridiculous? <laughs> With your socks and my trousers, it's just, it's not, it's a recipe for total disaster. <laughs> I'm doing this, subs, because you've all told me I should be re respectful of my dear wife's suggestions. And I'm but listen, listen really enter into it okay when you're in there like go listen really intently to what they're saying amazing things happen when you actually what, do what they what tell might you happen? you'll go to a deep place of relaxation you might cry you might cry oh a lot my God. you might have a lot of tears you're joking i'm not i, I did the week before last i was pouring poor old betty though poor old betty but oh, she's on the mend we've just sent a roast dinner around to oh, her good it was lovely to see Dad. Daddy. 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 Sorry, it's because I'm on the edge of laughter. So that was it nice Maddie to see your Daddy. <laughs> Maddie was singing when you took uh, oh, your mum back. Because she's got oh, a gig you... next Sunday, so she was practising. Are we allowed to film at the gig? I don't see why not. We didn't get a chance to say to na goodbye to Nanny Di on the vlog. Nanny oh, Di no. said goodbye. I'll be Nanny Di. Bye. Said, Bye, subs. Bye, subs. She was on good form, wasn't she? Anyway, we? we will let you know how the yoga went, but obviously it's a sacred Ashatanga Nangana, so we can't can... film in there. Is there somewhere I can go in case my feet smell? You better. Tell me you've washed your feet. Well, I haven't washed them specifically oh, no, now. You're going to embarrass me. This is a new place I'm going with your shoes, with your foot. <laughs> With your smelly feet. They're I don't want you to come. Smelly. You're going to embarrass me. Oh my God, I've got Can to you wait outside? <laughs> I am not wearing these turkey trousers. I look like Max Wall. You have to wear those trousers. What else? You're not wearing your pants. No, I'm saying I can't, I can't stand outside a place with these on. I've got to go in. <laughs> I'm an absolute embarrassment in West Norwood. <laughs> We've got to buy some yogic gear. We're very un -yogic. This is yogic. You bought me this. This is my. This is my lovely. Look at this, guys. I've worn it three times. Well, it's from a very a expensive brand, and look at it. All the stitching is Will over I be there. Able to wear my hat? Not in the class. Of course, you, you can't wear a hat. What do you mean? Have you seen my hair, Mark? No, I've got to wear my hat. Well, I mean, I'm sure nobody will tell you off, but okay. it's a bit embarrassing. Why is everything embarrassing? God, now I'm really regretting. Why did we talk him into doing this, Subs? Oh. What were we thinking? What a beautiful sky. Oh, wow. What a beautiful evening. Look this is good. You're already thinking like a yogi person. Hey? You're already thinking like a yogic man. You're looking at the sky. You're appreciating it. So here's What's the, the protocol when we walk through the doors? Right, we go in. Because I find the thing with all these things isn't yeah. necessarily the doing it. It's the going in... Is he going to test me? Is he going to this ask me if I've done it before? This is why it's really good, because I've already been there. I don't know this teacher. I've never worked with this teacher I before. I thought you knew this teacher. No, it's not. It's, I don't know this teacher. This is a different... I've never oh done this before. Oh, my God, so we're entering the unknown. But there's, you don't hardly have to do anything. How do you know that? Because I've read up about it. Shall I tell you what you have we to do? We can't hardly have to... I mean, you wouldn't be paying money to sit in a room and do no, hardly oh nothing. No, no, but it's deep, deep. Yeah, but how deep? Okay. I don't want to go too deep. This is a the first time. The space between waking and dreaming. This is the enchanting place that is Yoga Nidra. By turning our intention inwards, we are taken to a place of healing Death. and peace. Where deep transformation is possible. A beautiful, effortless, deeply relaxing practice. They're going to make me take my hat off and I'm going to look like that. What have you done to your hair? God, Mark! 
It looks like you've stuck it down with boot polish. Shit, talk about most embarrassing husband <laughs> you could ever take to yoga. Oh my God, I've got to get a photo of that. Look at me. What's happened to my... What is happening? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to look that bad. It's really bad, Mark. It's really... I mean, that's the worst I've ever seen it on a day when I'm taking to meet people that don't know you. Look at me. Why are you taking a photo? Look at me. What have you done? I don't know. I look like Ricky Gervais. You look like something out of Star Trek. <laughs> What's happened? Mark, you've got to do something in case they make you take your hat off and then you won't be able to do anything. Do something now. Oh, God, That's you're... nice. That, that came back nice. from Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, that was like a screen like, like swipe. Tintin. Do you remember Tintin? How can I go from hideous, hideous. to reasonably you presentable? You look like you've put boot polish <laughs> on your hair. What's that? What have you been doing in that toilet? What has happened? What do... Is this the effect parsnips have on you? Did you eat all the parsnips or something? Oh my god, it, not only has it kind of sorted it out, but it looks great. I'm actually walking behind him. I'm now not pretending I'm not with you. Oh, looks so, so, so. You look such an idiot, baby. Go on, off you go. Loose. <laughs> <laughs> People, you do realize there's, there's going to be other coming. people. In I know, there. but people are looking at me like, Why is he wearing those stupid tracky oh, bottoms? I'm going to be dying with laughter when we go in there when you suddenly try and pretend that you're all right. You do not know there. how <laughs> much I'm out of my comfort zone doing this. I am so out of my comfort zone doing this, so out of it. But so am I, to be honest. Now I need a I wee already. I'm... I need a wee. You're just mentioning having water. Uh, so am I. So I mean, windy. this isn't my natural habitat, huh? It's not my natural habitat. <laughs> Oh, we're here. Look, there it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're here now, and there's Buddha. I thought my knees were going to explode open. Yeah? I thought they were going to absolutely explode open. How do you feel? Um, I thought he was lovely. I loved the teacher. I really He's liked amazing. Him. Yeah, yeah, I really liked him. Um, yeah, no, it's good. But your knees would have felt like they're going to explode because you don't, you haven't stretched no, them. No, no, so I no, think no, you managed no. really well, actually. Yeah, I mean, I think so. For somebody that hasn't stretched for ages. It wasn't as passive as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it was far more active and the dreaded words downward dog came in. I thought I was just but... going up to lie down for an hour and a half, but no. Didn't feel like an hour and a half. i tell you what I like most about it were his aphorisms from Dow. Yeah, reading. I wrote in Confucius. I, I, I genuinely... I genuinely I was genuinely, loved. and I think in I was the really concentrated listening. space... Yeah. Where you've got nothing else to think about and because he had a slight sense of humor about himself yeah. it really made me attend to what he was talking about so i liked that I really he was dead that. down to earth wasn't he yeah, he scottish was. accent he looked like he had this lovely like yeah. white beard yeah, yeah, i really liked him i yeah. really like yeah so I mean, glad you came i'll tell you what Mark, i'm do now look... slightly stressed because i've got to go go and get yeah but you done. but you had an hour and a half when yeah, you yeah, were stressed, stressed in there. and you do look much more oh, relaxed right, okay. oh well, come here thank you for coming we really appreciate it. Thank you for taking me. So we are yogis. Yeah, apart from there's one major, major problem with all of it. What? Oh. It's made me starving hungry. Mark! You're kidding! Absolutely famished. I can 